showed up just in time. Hey, you, in the kitchen. You're doing a hell of a job, kid. How'd you do? But Eden's Gate isn't just gonna sit around with their thumbs up their butts. We push, they push back harder. John's gonna send out birds to try and spot you from the air, and armed convoys to intercept you on the road. You keep your head on a swivel. I was wondering when you were gonna stop by. Hero, over here. I could use you. You know what this town needs? Balls. I'm dead serious. Falls Inn's annual testicle festival is a decades-old tradition. The testy festi is one of the few times the community comes together for what makes them happiest. Scarfing down cowboy caviar. This town needs a morale boost. And if stuffing Rocky Mountain oysters down your gullet don't put a smile on your face, then I don't know what could. Problem is, the festival's been postponed because of the goddamn cult. Now, I am not going down as the cook who failed to serve up huevos with a side of happiness. We're gonna do this. But first, we need to get the testy festy supplies out of storage. A young fella named Kenny's got them all locked up for me at the old barn. I'll start getting set up. You head over and get those supplies. You showed up just in time. Damn, I can build my own levels. Hey, you the one Casey sent over? One of these damn vultures gobbled up the key to my barn. Look, it's a long story. Let's just say I was, uh, indisposed. You gotta help me. I'm a lousy shot when it comes to moving targets. Shoot down those vultures. One of them has to have the key. that I don't die, or else I'm coming for him next. Only you could have helped Fall's End like that. Levels and give the people that little extra fire they're craving. 
Right now, we serve our Montana tender groins a lot of ways. Baked, fried, boiled, steamed, cured. Hell, we even got a signature dessert, nuts cream. But that ain't gonna cut it this year. We need something new, something exciting. We're gonna put together a spread that would make a TV chef's asshole pucker. Three new ways to enjoy that swinging beef. Shredded, roasted, and brewed. First two are simple. Tractor mulcher and some fire should do the trick. The third one, well, let's just say interrupting a bull when he's playing hide the salami is one of the most dangerous things you can do. But that's what makes it taste so good. When you're done, bring the goods back to me and we'll kick the festival off with a bang. You can play this game all day. They're a doomsday cult. Pastor Jerome is a blessing. A buddy of mine said Grace is holed up at the Lamb of God Church. It's not from Peggy's. I sure hope she's got someone watching her back. Damn it! Somebody! Get help!
saw was ready to chase squirrels. Did you get them? Did you get those meaty bags of victory? Don't need fancy cutlery, you need good food. Pardon me, sir. You got yourself a friend for life in that puppy. I think this year's Testy Festy will go down as the greatest ever. Can't wait to pop one of those juicy balls into my mouth. After I finish seasoning and tenderizing these little meatsicles, the taste will be out of this world. It's times like this that remind us of what really matters. Our friends and family, our community, our home. Couldn't have done it without you, hero. Now, you're gonna stick around and gorge on these cattle cutlets, right? Come on, go grab a drink and we'll chow down. Oh, yeah. Time to get festive. It is not for us to judge. Deliver them unto the waters. The cleansing begins tonight. This one's not clean. Bring that one to me. This 
despite all that you have done, you are not beyond salvation. You're not here by accident or by chance. You are here by the grace of God. You've been given a gift. Now it remains to be seen whether you choose to embrace it or to cast it aside. This one shall reach the atonement. While the gates of Eden shall be shut to your jar. Yes, Joseph. You will confess. Every sin you've ever committed, no matter how petty, no matter how small, I will pull from you. <laughs> then we'll see if you're worthy of atonement. If we just confess, if we confess right away, we'll be okay, right? No, you'll make it worse. Why? Because confession without pain isn't confession. You'll scream out your sin, and you'll wear it on your flesh before John peels it off of you. It's a beautiful thing. Fucking Peggy's. Show them no mercy. Stay with me. Didn't go through all this trouble just to lose you now. Deputy. I'll lie down and die only after I have my Still standing, I see. Those hey, cult man. followers are, are running you? scared now. Come here. I have a plan. I knew it meant trouble when we couldn't reach you. I'm glad the Lord pointed me in the right direction. We got you back, 
But there's still others that need our help. Cult's moving the rest of the prisoners up the road. They got Merle, too. Time's wasting. Grab what you can and go save them. I'll call in some of our people. We're gonna need them. Lives are dependent on us. Please, let me finish. They won't make it to that bunker. Over here, deputy. As I was saying, I'll call in some of our people. We're gonna need them if we're gonna pull this off. Whoever is generous to the poor lends to the Lord. We gotta get him! Can't be shit! Kiss your ass yet for saving Paul's end? Deputy, we've sent in a chopper to pick you up, so just hold your ground until it gets there. <laughs> Those pigs got everyone scared out of them. That's an advantage.
up against. They're taking us against our will, Deputy. I know you're looking for your friend, but Fall's End was just a piece of the whole community that needs our help. Once we're strong enough, we'll free every last one of those prisoners. That's a promise. They really think they're saving us. Saving us! Locked up in a shithole? Get out of here!